Well, hello friends, it's Angela, the Inquisitive Farm Wife, and I'm here to share with you what I got done this week for the Every Bit Counts Challenge. It's the 20th through 26th. I have slowly been gathering up my tomatoes from my garden, and you saw me do that last week, but I was so excited. This week I actually got a couple of peppers. I've been watching the plants to try to see, you know, when to harvest them because sometimes it's really difficult to figure that out because I had some that were supposed to be orange peppers, but I think instead of them turning orange, they had a little sun scald on them. So I didn't really want to use them other than just slice them up and store them for later because you know I've been saving my tomatoes for tomato sauce and I'm hoping that I can use my own peppers in that sauce, or I might actually make some salsa if I get the opportunity. So for now, I'm just going to take out all the seeds, any spots that I just didn't think look quite right, and I'm going to put them into slices so that I can put them on, say, the top of um, a meatloaf, or if I want to use them for goulash, all I have to do is take my slices and turn them into chunks. So it's just a real basic project today where all I did was preserve some peppers. I'm curious to know, what's your favorite way to preserve bell peppers? And what kind of things do you like to do with them after you have them preserved in that way? Whether it's dehydrated, frozen, freeze-dried, canned. And then here we are in the kitchen again with apples. Yes, still apples, but it is the very last of them. You can see they've started to change color a little bit, but they are still very firm and very delicious. And one of the projects I was hoping to get done with my apples off my tree was to make some homemade apple pie filling, and that I did. And of course, I made my own juice from my apples to put in the pie filling, which was super exciting by just taking the cores and skins and putting them in my steam juicer. It worked out great. Of course, I didn't let all that go to waste either. I turned that into apple butter, just as you've seen me do before. Now that I have finally worked through all of my apples, I am really hoping to put together a video that has all the things that I have done with apples. So what do you think? Should I do one video or should I break it down into several? I'm still trying to decide what would be the best. Everyone seemed to like my corn video from last year where I showed you how to preserve it in many ways. I'll link that here. Remember last week when I took my mama to the doctor? Well, she invited me to go to her garden and she has two beautiful cucumber plants and they go over an arch on each side. It is really almost magical in her garden. She has such a green thumb. All these cucumbers were just one picking. And of course, I made some Mrs. Wager's bread and butter pickles. That video will come out soon. A local person had some green beans available and I traded her some farm goodies and so I was excited to get two more cannerfuls of green beans put up because you know those are our favorites. If you haven't had the chance to see my full video on how you can home can your very own fresh green beans, I'll be sure to put an eye link in here somewhere so that you can see that. And it just so happened that the family that had the extra green beans, when I got there to pick them up, they also had some extra banana peppers and I was super excited and a little bit shocked to see that those were available also because I thought that they had all already been claimed and uh, so I was super excited to get those. They were not as crispy as I had hoped but it was okay. I wasn't terribly worried about it because my plan for these particular peppers are to make like a Mississippi pot roast. I love putting them in with my beef roast. I was, I was a little indecisive here. I couldn't decide if I wanted to take the seeds out or not because they did smell and feel hot. And I just thought, oh, maybe I needed something mild. But I remember one year taking jalapeno peppers, 
taking out the seeds and canning them, pickling them, and they were just like a regular pepper. They lost their heat. So you'll see, I later decided to go back in and add those silly seeds back in those peppers so that I could have heat because I love making um, a, a special drip beef sandwich that uses um, pepperoni peppers. So I thought this might be a good substitute for that. Can you believe it? We've darn near made it through this week. I've been doing an Air Fryer August Fun Food Friday series and I hope that you guys check that out. We've been doing air fried foods every Friday, me and some friends, and it's an open collaboration that I have invited anyone to participate in that would like to. So there's still time if you would like to put out a video, you certainly could too. But anyway, how this ties into preservation is that I ended up making more of my cheesy chicken nuggets than I needed. So I was exhausted. As you can see in the background, it is dark outside and I really just kind of wanted to put on my pajamas and go to bed for the day. And so I took the leftover chicken nuggets and I just stuck them in the ice portion of my freezer because they really don't have a lot of room in there. So that they could each harden individually and I'm just gonna throw them into a labeled bag and they'll be ready for another time in the future where maybe I just need a quick snack or a meal for one or two. This, I figured, would be handy to have for later. I'm gonna try to remember to post that video here for you now. It really was kind of a fun thing to try. And finally, I did something for the animals. I was busy with them this week. We took several of my goats to the auction, but I needed to think about getting food for the next few weeks or months. So I ended up getting some chicken feed, some scratch, and some alfalfa to kind of tide me over in addition to the bales of hay that I have so that I know that I'll be ready for the upcoming month. I am really excited for next month because my newest cow, Tilly, my heifer girl, she is now getting ready to have her baby. And so this is the beginning of calving season. I am super excited. Thank you all so much for coming along with me again this week as we went through what I got done and I look forward to this last week of the 2023 Every Bit Counts Challenge.